Captain's Log, Subdate 20616.2. I've worked out what was wrong with the bioneural gel packs. Some dickwad Talaxian sold me some queso that was carrying the man flu bio weapon. I've sent a homing quantum missile his way, and fully expect to see his remains in the news. Before we start, I will be streaming on Twitch later tonight some American Truck Simulator. As I haven't done it in a while, we get to play with trucks I haven't used yet. Yay. Link down below. So today I want to talk about Juicy Small Bits. Jussie Smollett, for those who haven't quite cottoned on to the name there. He was more recently in the news. And that's worth addressing because this is going to get really funny. Really fast. For those who don't know who Juicy Smallbits is, Juicy Smallbits was an actor on the TV show Empire. Juicy Smallbits wanted a pay rise, so he staged an attack on himself where he got the Osendero brothers to wear masks and go in on him and make it look like his life was in genuine danger. There were videos surfacing of him when the police arrived with body cams with him still wearing the noose around his neck, claiming it was MAGA supporters. The Osendero brothers fled the country but eventually came back and, yeah, no, they, they, they flip-flopped. Juicy Small Bits got into a lot of trouble and was suspended from Empire and then summarily fired. I'm getting the impression this play for more money, which is what many believe it to be, was totally worth it. At the time, Juicy Small Bits, before he was found out to be lying, got a tremendous amount of support. But because he was outed as somebody who lied... Many pointed at him and said, you have just devalued what Black Lives Matter is trying to fight for, as well as the LGBTQIA blah 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 community. I'm not trying to insult the LGBTQ community, I just don't know the rest of the letters. Originally, and rather peculiarly, nothing really happened to Juicy Small Bits, beyond him getting the state's attorney's office to agree to drop the charges without requiring Smollett to admit any wrongdoing, along with Juicy Small Bits agreeing to forfeit his $10,000 bond. The police, the city of Chicago as well, thought, oh whoa, this is not justice. Oddly enough, the halls of injustice agreed with you. We were going to send you lawgivers and lawmasters. And eventually a new special prosecutor was assigned to deal with this, because the city of Chicago wants $130,000. They want it because of the amount of police hours wasted investigating this, covering the overtime and other resources wasted in an investigation for something that was clearly doctored. It was clearly staged. We know it was because of the footage of the Osendero twins in a taxi beforehand in a shop together buying the very things that you claim were thrown on you. Was it bleach? Yes. You're a classy boy. I'm starting to see how this long play really didn't work in your favour. After a number of people removed themselves from the investigation because of conflicts of interest, and the new special prosecutor being assigned, many then jumped on that special prosecutor saying they too have a conflict of interest because they donated towards the mayor's run. Political election nonsense, essentially. If you would like more knowledge on this or more information on this, I have done a number of videos on this channel on this. I will link them all down below. I think I did some political recap streams as well with Trups, where we just mocked Juicy Small Bits, who has since been mocked by comedians most notably including Dave Chappelle, who said that everyone was furious, especially in Hollywood. For some reason, African Americans were, like, oddly quiet. What they didn't understand is that we were supporting him with our silence, because we understood that this man was clearly lying. None of these details added up at all. I have, of course, paraphrased, but the entire quote is on the screen for you. Yeah, I'm not reading that. But I will leave it on the screen, and if you have to pause it, because it's not going to be up on the screen much longer, oh, it's gone. So what has happened? Why do we now have to go back to Juicy Small Bits? In the last video we discussed on Juicy Small Bits, a halls of injustice no less, Juicy Small Bits was attempting to have the current charges against him dropped, and his argument for this was double jeopardy. This was an argument presented by Juicy Smallbits' attorney after the new special prosecutor secured a six-count indictment on charges that allege he lied to the police about the racist and anti-gay attack that the police say he staged himself. This new case came months after the county state attorney's office 
announced it was dropping the charges against the actor, which we have already discussed. Judge James Lynn, who was presiding over this at Cook County Court, said the only way that double jeopardy would apply is if Smallbits was legally punished for what happened to him since he was charged in connection with the 2019 January incident in downtown Chicago. But the deal in which the state attorney's office agreed to drop the charges without requiring Smollett or Smallbits to admit any wrongdoing and Smallbits agreeing to forfeit his $10,000 bond did not add up to a legal punishment. Being quoted as saying, there was no trial in this case, there was no jury empaneled, no witnesses were sworn, no evidence was heard, no guilty pleas were ever entered. Nothing like that ever happened. There was no adjudication of this case. So I guess the very important question now is, what happens next? Well, since he has lost, the state attorney's office can proceed with trial with the current charges, and if they can, slap on a few more if they want to because Smallbits has lost, but this isn't the only case Smallbits is currently contending. He is also contending with the fact that he's got to face charges and a trial, perhaps, with regards to the $130,000 being sought after by the Chicago Police Department. Oh boy, this is going to get very expensive for Smallbits. So I guess the most obvious thing we have to ask is, do you think Juicy Smallbits will try and cut a deal again? because it can be argued that the first agreement was in fact a rather pathetic deal and it was what caused many to be quite cross. Do you think he could this time? This is, by the way, a question for you, the lovely, lovely audience. I don't think he can this time. An example has to be made, which is what I think will happen next. I think he's going to find himself on the losing side and he'll end up probably just doing community service and paying that fine. But... Considering the intent behind this faked attack, allegedly of course, the damage it does to the communities at large, perhaps custodial could be pursued, but a fine is more likely with community service and a suspended sentence. With this, of course, I would like to know what you all think. Do you think he'll get a custodial term? Do you think they will add more charges? Do you think the trial will go to plan? Do you think he'll beg for a deal? Do, by all means, let me know in the comments down below. I know this is a little shorter, but to be honest, there isn't much more I can add to it. So I hope you'll have a fantastic Tuesday, and thank you all for listening.